Good morning, friends. It is Wednesday morning, and we are glad that you're here with us. You should have got the midweek blast in your email. And uh, yeah, so our Bible text for this week comes from the book of Mark. At the beginning of Jesus' ministry, we hear the words, Jesus and the disciples went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Just then there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent and come out of him. This is the word of the Lord. So, friends, well, actually, quick fun fact about the book of Mark. It's very interesting. If you look through the book of Mark, none of the disciples or any of those holy people know that Jesus is the Son of God. But if you read through the whole book of Mark, you'll see that it's the demons, the evil spirits, are the ones that recognize that Jesus is God. And at the end of Mark, the centurion who uh, takes a knee at the cross, um, hashtag take a knee, uh, he recognized that Jesus was the, the Son of God. So, I'm thinking specifically in this text about demons. So, hmm, do we really believe that there are demons in the world? I don't know, maybe, maybe. Some people do, some people don't. And uh, we read the, the text through the lens of, you know, of our senses and all that. But and back in the day, people had this idea of demons and, and maybe spirits and like little Satan things or just whatever, you know, ghosts and all that. But I think about our world today and, and how we think of things. And, and maybe this is just where I come from, like where I'm sensing things from is maybe the demons that we have in us could be those things that keep us up at night. Maybe the pressure from a bad relationship that you want to end, or um, maybe it could be the thoughts of how you're going to pay the rent for the next week, or, or just all those things that bother us deep down inside and that, that, that make us feel like we're not enough and we're not worthy, or maybe keeps us from um, talking to someone about go what's going on or, or um, talking to God about it, right? So maybe, maybe demons, uh, for some of us, are not like these, you know, this tangible like things that fly around or that but maybe just those those thoughts that we tell us that we're not good enough so that's how I uh, in my you know personal life think about that that's something that holds me down from you know living my best life to quote uh, Chance the Rapper and so it's important for us to just you know think about that and you think about the ways that God comes into the world and, and, and gets rid of those demons, right? Whether that be a, a friend or a neighbor telling us that we did a good job at the last, you know, event that we went to or, or someone thanking us for like, you know, watching their kids or uh, shoveling their snow, that sort of thing. And, and, and oftentimes we can get caught up in, in, you know, God and like the spirit and all this thing about this, all this, you know, uh, supernatural thing that's all out in the world talking about demons and exorcisms but you know maybe we can think about you know demons and and exorcisms like kind of like in this way that you know Jesus comes and and helps us to get rid of those evil thoughts by our our lover our neighbor loving us and caring for us you know and and so yeah so that's kind of what I've been thinking about this week so maybe we can think about that too about just the way that God just comes into our world and, and picks us up when we're feeling down and and puts us in in uh, good nature and all that other s Christian stuff. So, yeah, well, thank you, and I uh, hope to see you on Sunday at church or in the Zoom world. Uh, not Zoom, actually, uh, and on the digital world. So I'm sure Alyssa will have fun editing this. So thank you, Alyssa. Bye.